Hey guys, it's Cream. Alright everyone, so for today's video, I thought we would do something a little bit fun, a little bit different, and react to some Raimi Spider-Man merchandise collections. Now, I got a couple videos here. I have not seen them except for one of them, which it was a while ago, and, you know, I'll add my commentary and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited, you know. We may see something that we've never seen before, because these collections look absolutely insane based on the thumbnail. And the first video we got here is called My Tobey Maguire Spider-Man Collection, Rare Action Figures, Toys, and More. And it is by Mini Superheroes Today. All the videos will be linked in the description. I highly recommend you check them out because, yeah, they're awesome. So, let's just go ahead and get started here. Immediately, I notice the walkie-talkies, which are really cool. I believe that this is a really expensive figure. Um, I don't remember if it's... I don't think it's like Hot Toys, but it's very similar. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So on the top shelf here, we have the large scale figures. Now, the cool thing about these are these are all walkie talkies. So you can see that there's little switches on the side and things like that. And all of their arms move uh, up and down. But that's the only thing that's posable on these. But, of course, I have Spider-Man and one villain from all three movies. Mm, nice. My dad just got me this for Christmas this year, the Sandman one. So that's quite cool. Right. And then over so, here, we've got the um, real... There is also a black suit spider-man walkie-talkie that goes along with the sandman um i think that's a little bit on the rarer end but but still really cool nonetheless action heroes 12 inch toby spider-man so we'll open it up and basically mm. this was kind of like a predecessor to the hot toys figures so oh, okay it's a really nice figure for wow. the time in yeah, 2007 that's... it hasn't aged super super well but it is very rare i'm pretty sure that's one thing wow I... okay um, all right, but going back to that, uh, Hot Toys like figure, I'm pretty sure that is very expensive, but I mean, oh my god, look at this. Unbelievable, he's got so much stuff. This is what I meant by insane collection, and I'm already seeing things that I've never seen before, so. Um, but it does look like that there are some, like, Tasm stuff sprinkled in i see right here and then i think this bucket this you'll maybe, notice that pretty much yeah i think that bucket is the amazing spider-man too but i mean oh my god so yeah we're in for we're in for a little bit of fun here everything here is action figures if you want to see the lego toby Maguire stuff i have search it up on my youtube channel mini superheroes mm. today yeah and just search toby Maguire spider-man and all of I that i think uh thing. this guy like collects legos so, he's got a, a lot of Legos along with this. This video is literally just going to be about the toys and not the Lego stuff. All right, so moving one shelf down, we also have some sealed mm. Spider-Man 3 action figures back there, as well as ah. a sealed inflatable box yeah. bag and this automatic pop-up standee. I've never seen another one of these, although if you flip it over, you could see that they made four different ones. So it's pretty okay. cool to have one sealed so, in the box. I've actually seen this one on eBay, and I think this one too, but I have not seen this one. Yeah, that's really cool. This one would be awesome to get, this goblin one. That would be, that'd be unbelievable. Uh, this pop-up bag is really cool too, the punching bag thing. Yeah. I, I want that one. That, that was one I, I definitely want. Uh, the figures are really cool. Of course, the Sandman limited edition. More on the expensive end of the figures. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, keep going. Moving from there, we've got my loose 6-inch Spider-Man collection. Now, these oh. are super, super valuable. Like, this figure alone can be in the $120, $150 range. Mind you, the Green Goblin yep. and that, those can be hundreds. Of yeah, so they got the Battle Ravaged Green Goblin. Um, I know this Dr. Octopus figure right here is, like, really popular. A lot of people spend a lot of money on that one, uh, along with this one and this one. All three of these are very valuable. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. Oh, and also he's got the uh, Pizza Scooter one. That one is unbelievably expensive. Uh, especially in the box. I've seen that go for like 400, 300, so unreal. Dollars too sometimes. So 
All of these were mine from when I was a kid with the exception of these two Spider-Man 3 figures. For whatever reason, I just didn't get any 6-inch mm. Spider-Man figures. I had all of that scale, which we'll look at in a little bit. But all of these were mine from growing up. It's really cool to awesome. see them on display here. That's really and, cool. You know, to kind of relive the magic. Because the Peter Parker here, he used to have a backpack. Of course, I played huh. with all mine. So they're a little beat up and missing accessories. But you could shoot water out of his web hand there, huh. which was cool. J. Jonah Jameson has this little tab on his I didn't back actually that know that you could shoot water from that. That's really nice. I had no idea. But then, of course, we've got a oh, Norman Osborn missing an arm. figure. I can't even imagine today. He turned like, into uh, Kurt Connors right there going to target and just buying a picture of or buying an action figure of like a random middle-aged man i guess <laughs> you do have like ross from black panther and stuff like that but anyways these figures are super super cool we've got the battle damaged spider-man here as well as the pizza time spider-man the back of his bike shot yeah, that one is pieces, uh if you can believe it got really Doc cool Ock and mary jane and then behind there, these I have gotten over the years. I didn't keep anything sealed when I was a kid. This Doc Ock cost me about $200 sealed wow. last year. Wow, oh, jeez. <laughs> I've actually, I think it's a little bit more, more or less than that right now. Um, I think I've seen it for like 90 but still, it's very expensive. Really awesome figure, though. But it's still super, super cool to have those now. And it's kind of nice to have the loose and the sealed behind them. So over here, we've got mm. a couple more loose figures. Of course, we've got another sealed Doc Ock here. His bubble is dented, but I got this. I think so I only paid $50. I, um, I actually have this one. And my the bubble on mine is kind of bad, too, actually. So we have a little bit of commonality right there for it sealed which was a really good deal <coughs> we've got a bump and go cycle mm. green goblin here which uh if you put batteries in the glider he would like fly around yeah and, well uh, roll around that's is really the cool better term and then i always love this one the punching bag spider-man dude got... i i think this one is hilarious i um i had this one and i actually decided to get rid of it like sell it because the one i had didn't have the sticker and i'm somebody who like I want to have everything complete, so though that really bothered me. Uh, so I also I noticed that he's got this. There's something a little bit weird about this. I have this, but I don't think the chest is like. You see how the chest is missing the webbing? I don't think mine has that. So that's a little bit weird. Um, but yeah. Kind of cool there. And I also noticed this, which I really like this one, the Symbio Evolution, but I'll let him uh, the J. get Jonah there. Jameson action figure on it. It's the exact same action figure that we saw over here. I just always thought that was a cool attention to detail. Then I found this last year in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, really cool Walmart exclusive yeah, I love pack. That. And it I came really with love that. some Peter Parker accessories that you could put on Spider-Man. Of course, the battle damage symbiote suit was super cool, and that's awesome. Real quick, though, let me cut away. I want to show you my autograph collection. Oh, wow. So wow. this is in a separate section of my house. This okay. is in my Lego room, if you don't follow my Lego YouTube channel that you're watching right now. Dude, that's what I do. But no anyways, uh, this is my Tobey Maguire and Kirsten Dunst autographs. Oh, the my God. The COA that's is separate so because this awesome. is beautifully framed and matted. And yeah, basically, I, I don't have any autograph. I don't have any props. I, I really want to get something eventually, but... I mean, damn. Of autographs, I oh, also have signatures from Alfred Molina and Thomas Hayden Church. That's of course, sick. Sandman and Doctor Octopus both have their certificates of authenticity, which is awesome. And like I said, with the Toby Dude, autograph, I, I would just... love to have an Alfred Molina signature. I absolutely love Doc Ock. That would be sick, and Sandman too. So doubt that I'm ever going to meet either of these two actors, and I really would love to get a Willem Dafoe to go with it, so I could have all three oh, main man, villains that would from be... the movies. And if I got Topher Grace and uh, what's his face, Harry Osborn, <laughs> that wouldn't be the end of the world either. But I like having the main villains. Okay, so after the autographs, we've got another shelf oh, here. Okay. This was a Burger King so, toy. You would put this huh. on your hand, and you could toss this ball back and forth. What? And it would catch with Velcro, kind of like Spider Man wow, sticking the okay. walls. This so I, I did I did not know about that. I well I think it's 
I think it's for Spider-Man 2, right? Because I don't remember Spider-Man 1 having anything to do with Burger King, but I don't remember this from any of the ads. I've never seen that before. So I said wow because of the toothbrush. Um, I really like stuff like this, like kind of oddball, you know, non-action figure stuff, advertising stuff. I really, really like that. So this right here is um, actually the second one I've seen. I've seen one that has actual toothpaste in it. And it has the goblin, I think, on the toothbrush. But, I mean, yeah, I, I would love to have that. This one is really, really wacky. This is a sealed toothbrush from 2002. I'm not really sure if I would want this if it was open and used. <sighs> but the fact that it's sealed and hasn't ever been yeah. in anyone's mouth... Yeah, that's enough for me to go ahead and that's get That's so it. awesome. <laughs> Got a sealed Mary Jane figure back there. Got a plushy Toby up here. <laughs> and then if you were a kid back then, oh, I mean, yeah. if you were a kid now, you know how awesome it is to have the silly string shooter. Hell yeah, This was man. the doll action web blaster, which could shoot either web fluid, silly string, or water. And uh, man, every kid in 2002 had this, I, I swear. Bet. I it was bet they super, had that. super, super cool. And I absolutely loved it. And having a sealed one all these okay. years later, is pretty awesome. I noticed there's a pin right there. So moving from that, we've got another okay. plush uh, well, and then I noticed that there was also a pin on his um, little table here. And I believe that this is a... Uh, I believe that this is a promo for a DVD store, I think. If I can read it. Uh, yeah, it does say DVD. Yeah, I, I've seen that on eBay before. So that's pretty cool. So moving from that, we've got another plush Spidey and then all of the Spider-Man 3 action figures. Oh, wow. Now, for some reason, uh, Hasbro scaled these down, so they're actually significantly yeah. shorter than the 6-inch I don't know why we looked at a little bit earlier, that, but they're honest. still pretty cool. I don't think that they're as valuable or desirable as the 6-inch ones. So we got the headless Spider-Man over here, um, but I actually noticed this right here. This is from a Target exclusive Sandman versus Spider-Man pack. That's uh, really nice. And before we get to this, which, oh man, um, I actually had this Craven figure when I was a little kid, and I beat the living hell out of it. I played with it so much. I wish I would have kept it in the box, but yeah. From Spider-Man 1 or 2, but regardless, these are the ones I had as a kid, and it's still cool to have them now. These were, mm. I don't remember what the name of this line uh, are, but, you know, they're basically... So, from... that is uh, Superhero Squad, I believe that's what it's called. And, yeah, they did make some some Raimi ones. They had a lot. They had Rhino, they had Doc Ock, they had Venom. They had everybody. Like, little kids. The Green Goblin one is so sick, don't yeah. you think? I think that that one is so mm -hmm. cool. That's awesome. Um, but then we've got the Burger King uh, toys, of oh. course. This likeness to Tobey Maguire I is actually know. insane for a Burger King toy. I think you can pull the mask up. I mean, over his wait, head. He'll, he'll, look at that. I mean, Sandman is like identical. That that's like unbelievable for a Burger King toy. This one, if you put it in water, it will turn black. Like, wow. You know, it'll okay. look like that. So that's cool. Got the actually, Sandman I think with I've sand fist that can punch and I think all I've seen of cool a video stuff. of that actually happen in action. Up there. And even a box of Pop Tarts oh my God, from 2002. Don't worry, the box is empty. There's not like Pop Tarts right. rotting um, away in there. But okay, so a little quick thing. I actually have this with the Pop Tarts inside, and I absolutely love unopened food stuff. That's like probably my favorite thing to get. And yeah, I ha I got this for pretty low, I would say. And I just love that. I love that so much. So it's only the box. Still really cool though. And I also noticed this Venom Squirter toy. We've discussed that many times before, how it was supposed to be the animatronic. So that's really nice too. If you were a kid back then, you definitely remember the frosted Spidey Berry oh, man, pop dude. So awesome. This is kind of my catch-all shelf if any, for missing. Hey, if anybody has ever had those, tell me how they taste because I I probably would have gone crazy for those. I used to really like Pop-Tarts. Um, 
some some fantastic four stuff that's a little bit random but Genius stuff of course we've got another plushie there but uh we've got a little plushie hmm. hang tag thing here okay we've got some really unique cars like this yep. doesn't have they anything made, to do uh, with spider-man except huh. for the box so that was a little weird of course this one is cool because it has oh a my god yeah <laughs> i love that but I, I think I, I don't know if I've seen those cars before. I, I haven't seen them like blank like that. That's really weird. This is honestly so cool that there is a Bully Maguire thing. So, yeah, you got to get that. You just have to. Air figure in it, the mini mates. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Moving down a shelf in the back, it's kind of huh. hard to see, but that's like a Frisbee that you can okay. throw. It's pretty big. Got a sealed puzzle back there. Got these cool two decks of playing cards yeah. and a reflective tin. Got a toy from Hardee's. Is that from Hardee's? Yeah, I think that is. I, I got confused with um, KFC, but I think it didn't have the glider. Uh, really cool. I've never seen that Frisbee before. I have seen everything else, though. And this lunchbox. I have seen that, too. Ah, got this cool little quad. That's that you so can cool, put man. Batteries in. And oh, my God. Drive. It looks so cool. I've never seen that out of package, but I mean, that looks so cool. Got a Spider-Man 3 lunchbox. And while I'm sitting on the ground here, you guys know the infamous uh, Burger King bag that I bought. This is an original wow. bag from Burger That's King. so and cool. And I bought it because there's an advertisement for Lego on the back oh. that I, basically they gave away a giant life-size Spider-Man. And all the research I've done Wait, shows what? that it's in a museum in Ohio Okay, now. wow. Also, I'll reach in there. I never knew that. So there's a big Spider-Man in a museum in Ohio. Okay. Um, the bag is insane. I nice. mean... There's a oh, that's so cool to me. I love food stuff. I really love food stuff. So that is just oh my god. Spider Man fry box in there, so <laughs> awesome. pretty random. I live at the bottom of this rabbit hole, guys. I buy some insane oh, stuff. Oh man, that's awesome. Here we've got the ten inch Spider Man and my little cool. Andrew Shrine. Huh. I found this for a quarter last year in a uh, nice. antique store. So this is pretty cool. Nice to have a Andrew plushie, and then my dad found this in a barn, an Amazing Spider-Man huh. 2 uh, popcorn bucket. So okay. if we move over here, I'm pretty sure that see big, I've got this, uh, uh, this big Spider-Man, I believe this is from Spider-Man 2, and I think this is a walkie-talkie as well. Um, so yeah, that's nice. See, I've got this advertisement for the Spider-Man Lego sets including the wrestling scene set that was never actually released. Oh, yeah. So I remember that. This was out of a magazine. It's pretty cool. It's technically like the first time the world that. ever saw the Lego Spider-Man sets we got back then. So that's pretty cool. Sick. I believe this was a toy from Hardee's, if I'm not mistaken. Either Hardee's or Burger King. I think King. it was I'm Burger King. Sure. But, but uh, yeah, this uh, was like a window cling Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm, so I'm pretty sure. Pretty cool. no, actually, no. I then think that was from Hardee's because the back spider looked like the Spider-Man one. On this shelf, we've got more Burger King awesomeness. This Spider-Man, you can see, has a hole oh, at the top. Oh, store that's display. That's because there was a string, and this hung from the ceiling of oh Burger King. Oh, my God. Would kind of that is so... That is so goddamn cool. I love... Okay, if there's anything I love more than, like, food stuff, it's store displays. I love store displays. And, my God, this is... I would, I would buy this in a heartbeat. This is unbelievable. Maybe you don't think it's as cool as I do, but god damn. And uh, this is uh, really cool too, the Hardee's cup. This oh, that like hung so above cool. the cash registers, which is pretty cool. This is so, pretty so cool. awesome. This is a bootleg what? Doc Ock figure. Of course, his arms have broken um, off okay. over the years. Well, we got, we got to he... talk about this uh, this hair right here. It looks like he has one of those fur hats on. Got an unused sheet ah, of Spider-Man okay. 3 stickers. Okay, from so I actually have these, but they are stuck to a, like, dresser, like a plastic dresser I used to have. So, yeah, that's actually really cool seeing those in the package. Um, I should have kept those unopened, but, you know, I was a kid and I stuck those on everything, so... Yeah. This one's pretty cool. This is a Dude, Green Goblin oh God, and Spider-Man so drink damn cup from the first cool. movie. Uh, this one was from Hardy's as well, as you can see. It. So that's pretty awesome. I think I paid like a dollar for that Wait, what? Uh, last year. That's 
Dude, where are you getting these deals? Because show me. <laughs> that is an insane price. Uh, probably a Goodwill or something. Or like a garage sale, I'm guessing. Got this sealed Spider-Man figure. It's like mm -hmm. a 10-inch Spider-Man. Or excuse me, 12-inch Spider-Man. It's not Sounds super really poseable, cool. and he's in kind of a weird pose. But anything Tobey Maguire sealed is pretty cool in my opinion. Yeah, definitely, man. All right. Well, actually, there's some more. Over yeah. here, we've got Spider-Man okay. 3. Yeah, this is the thing that I noticed that I have never seen before, first off. This is like... Oh, okay. So I've seen these mugs before, but I didn't know that this is where they came from. That's really interesting. The double Trouble Hot Chocolate Mugs. So you can see you've got the red and the black on this side. And uh, you've got the original cookies in there. I probably nice. would not eat those because they've been in there since 2007. But uh, it's still pretty cool I mean, all these years later. It still tastes this good. This is pretty interesting. This is a advertisement for the Spider-Man pinball oh, machine. As you can see, it kind of tells that you is really all the cool. details on the pinball machine. And then this is the keychain that went on the key ring to open the pinball Holy machine crap, if you man. have one. So that's kind of cool. Now, here's that an interesting one. There is something Lego in this video, and that is this Lego uh, Spider-Man pen. I have, uh, yeah. I have seen this before, but, dude, the key to open the pin, but, like, how? Oh, my God, that's so... That's so awesome. That's oh, so awesome. At first glance, it may not look a lot like yeah. Lego. I think that there oh, was... Wow. Oops, didn't mean <laughs> to zoom in that much. And if you open it up, you could see that oh, the entire wow. box is full of okay. pens. They've never been opened, Dude, never been taken insane. out of the packaging. But uh, yeah, basically when I was doing research on this pen, so, I don't know, maybe in 2020 or so, um, I've... This right here, it's kind of hard to the, see, but this right here is a Spider-Man 1 render, but it's been like blacked out. Um, so yeah, I, I've seen this before, but never with all of them in there. That's man they came in this box and i wanted a sealed one and then i looked on ebay and somebody had enough that would make up a whole case and the picture was of this case so i said hey if i bought one pen would you be able to send me the case too if i paid a little extra they said no but if you bought the whole case wow. we would ship it in okay. there so i ended up just buying them all and then they shipped me the storage case so that's pretty cool nice then our final shelf down here actually has some of the coolest stuff in my opinion mm, okay. this is a graphic novel of spider-man 2 so let me switch camera hands here and open it up and you can see that like it's literally yeah. just scenes from the movie turned into like an ultimate style comic book so they didn't try to make him look too much like Toby or anything, but, like, that likeness to Doc Ock is pretty insane. Um, so, yeah, it's not, like, a one-to-one -one recreation of the movie. There's some things that are a little different. And then in the back, there are uh, classic comic books oh, that wow, the movie okay. was inspired by. So that's pretty cool. Back here, we've got a box oh, of wow. Spider-Man toasted All right. oat cereal. Again, if you were so, a kid in 2000... I, I do have this with the cereal in it, but I also have a thing related to this that I don't really want to say yet because I feel like I need to save that for when I do a collection video eventually. So I'm not going to say it yet, but I do actually have this sealed and I really like this. This is so cool. I love the eyes. So awesome. 2002, you definitely had this cereal at some point. So it's pretty insane to have the box now. There is no food on it because the expiration was March of 2003. So yeah, even if there was, that. I'd be like 20 years old at this point. So you wouldn't want to eat that cereal. And then finally, the best for last is the Daily Bugle. This is an actual Daily Bugle printing that was sponsored by Liberty Mutual when No Way Home came out. Huh. If you open it up, it's literally like an in-universe oh, Daily man. Bugle from That's the MCU. Awesome. So it's really, really cool. Um, I've done a video on this in its own right, so if you want to check that out on my channel, you certainly okay. can. Yeah, I never knew but about that. But with that being said, that is the end wow. of this video. We kind of covered everything in my Tobey Maguire Spider-Man collection. All right. It is vast, and it's so, pretty much been 20-plus years. Yeah, ago. like that That was awesome. Um, probably my favorite thing was honestly this, this cutout right here. I just think that it's so cool that that was hanging from Burger King, the ceiling. I, I love that. I love that so much. Um, but, I mean, unbelievable action figures, unbelievable stuff. This is an awesome collection. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, 
yeah. in the making because I've been collecting this stuff my whole life. So let me know what your favorite piece from my collection was. Thanks for hanging out. I know this is a little longer video than usual. Yeah, man. Great stuff. So, yeah, go ahead and tell me what your favorite thing was from this collection. And, yeah, let's go on to the next awesome collection. All right, so here we have the next video. And immediately... This guy has a whole shrine right here. I mean, this is unbelievable. This video is made by Spec Spider Ken. So, yeah, great stuff, man. And also, I noticed this. This is really rare. This Doc Ock, um, what do they call him? I forgot the name, but it's a little plushy. I mean, this, this looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and see what's up. Hey guys, uh, Ken here. I'm going to show you guys a little uh, tour of my Rami Spider-Man collection. Dude, the whole wall so is covered. Right here, we got a t-shirt from 2002. Okay. The first movie here. Yeah. Logo. I have seen that before. Got a super poseable green goblin figure here. This is actually custom because... The superposable came with a Norman Osborn head, but I didn't like that how it didn't have the full head. So I cut the full head off of another one and glued it into okay. here. And the neck can still turn, but the head joints don't. But I like it this All way. Alright. And of course the glider. Yeah, I could see... I don't know what's going on with the music, but I can see why um, some people wouldn't really like the back head to be exposed. So that's understandable. And over here, we have Mary That's Jane really cool. and Superposable 2002 Spider-Man. I got a little 3D print pumpkin bomb oh, here. Oh, nice, nice. I got to paint. I have my cosplay mask. Okay. Notice this is the 2002 emblem huh. here. The triple action. You might have shooter, actually made that. Parts of it, at least. Then full screen and widescreen of the first movie. Uh... Doc Ock from Spider-Man yeah, 2 as a plush. This is really, really cool. I really like that. Um, it was actually with the Spider-Man 3 line of mini superhero. I forgot what the name was, but yeah, this one and the Green Goblin one. The Goblin one is way more rare, I think. Um, but yeah, I would love to have that. So. I got a Sam Raimi autograph right oh, here. Oh, that's awesome. The Tobey Maguire and Kirsten Dude, Dunst every, autograph. Wow, everybody's got autographs. Custom Rami Spider Tobey Maguire Spider Man doll. Okay, I, I've seen that doll before. Uh, um, bigger figure. Hmm. Oh, that's then, from uh, that's from Spider Man Two, and that was in like the double pack, I believe, with Doc Ock. So yeah, really nice. Got my little Spider Man Two figure here, um, sticking up here. I customized right. it a bit, so I'm gonna get another okay. one. So I colored this lighter, so it would be the Spider-Man. So this Man guy, movie. this guy's like a like a customizer. He's making cosplays. He's tweaking the figures. Nice. Here, because I don't like the Hasbro Spider-Man three figures much. They're just not as good as two. Yeah, I, I mean, it's um, hard to argue with that. And of course, got my nickname here, Spick Spider Ken. Um, okay. Got some little like. The collage memes, back the here memes. Of daily I like it. Picks and stuff, and memes. They got a little promo post here for the video game. Mm. Then, oh, that's a cool, man. Thing, I kept the soundtrack. Here's a little drawing I did. Oh, nice. It's better than anything I could do. And then the uh, that okay. one scene. Yep, I do remember Another that. Drawing I did. Huh. This was a drawing I got commissioned. Oh, that's so awesome. That's very cool. This is a ticket from... Oh, okay. Regal. Okay, yeah. No, this is actually really cool. I, I would really like to have... I would like to have a lot of stuff, as you probably could tell. But a ticket from the theater would be something that I would really want. That's awesome. The... Yeah, Regal, when I went to see Spider-Man 2 and okay. 3rd, 2004. Okay, so it's from his... When he went to see it, that's even cooler. A little San Diego Comic-Con Spider-Man 3 button from 2006 that I ordered. Oh, nice. Today. We got the press kit over here. You notice uh, the Spider-Man 2 song in the background? That's a nice touch. And 
yeah, my collection is ever growing. Now, he'll probably get to it actually. One last look at it all. Now, I don't think he pointed it out, but right here. Uh, let's see, let me get a good look. Right here, you see this like heart thing? This was like a charity pin. I'm not sure for what charity or what it was, but I think you donated to a charity and they gave you that. I could be completely wrong, but it has something to do with some sort of charity. Yeah, really nice, man. I've never seen anything like that. Never seen any shrine oh, like yeah, that. And then, of course, the Aunt May quote oh, from Spider-Man cool. 2. Yeah, that's a nice touch. I'll end it on that. I love the drawings. I love the drawings. Uh, yeah, he's got some really nice stuff. I My favorite thing was probably that Doc Ock plushie, just because you don't see that every day. I would prefer to have it in the box that it came in, because I'm not really an out-of-box guy when it comes to figures. But, yeah, a lot of awesome stuff. All right, so our next collection here comes from... Cobalt Blue. I'm sure you guys remember him from the video I did for Nightmare of the Web Slinger. Really cool guy. Makes really cool videos. He's a big on uh, Spider-Man 3, which I think is awesome. I love Spider-Man 3, so I'm glad that that's getting some love. But he's basically got a collection here. Now, he had a video about his collection that I saw, but he did this short that kind of gave an updated look. So I'm going to be looking through this and then we'll go through his old video too. So right off the bat, this is the Spider-Man 2 superposable 18 inch, I believe. It's very expensive. It's one of the most popular ones. Everybody wants that one. Uh, I want that one. So <laughs> let's go here. Uh, let me just turn down the music just a little bit, just so you know. I might have to mute this, but we'll see. All right, so off the bat here, this looks like a custom. I think he did a video on that. Uh, Walmart exclusive. This is the Venom. I don't know the exact name, but it's one of those ones that came with, oh, it came like in an open box. Like the box didn't have like a full seal on it. You could actually touch the figure. I'll put a picture of it on screen. I just don't remember the name of it right now. Um, I mean, an insane collection of figures right here. Of course, got to get the Bully Maguire one, obviously. Okay. A lot of ooze. A lot of ooze. I know those can go for a lot of money. This is the um, 360, I think. That's the name of it. This looks like the Venom from the Build-A-Figure or the Hasbro Trilogy line, which I want really badly. Okay. Okay, wow. This is... God, this is so cool. Oh my god. That display is insane. But this is a Venom mask from... It's another one of those sets. Uh, really cool. You got a lunchbox here i have seen that lunchbox this beanie thing from the last guy's collection I'm sure you remember that swing into action from target oh here we go here's the uh here's the good stuff right here okay so this venom i believe is hot toys that's very expensive you got the venom bust right here black spider-man bust Spider-Man 3 cereal. Now, I don't believe he has the sealed version, but yeah, that would be awesome to have. Candy dispensers. I have seen these before. Um, looks like a book. I think I had that at one point, but I guess I got rid of it. Um, what is this? Certificate? Okay. Okay, so that statue... Wow, okay, that's that's so cool. I love that statue. This is like an authenticity thing. He's got Pringles. I, I think I remember he made a video about eating them. Oh man, I would love to have that. Can I stop saying that? How, count how many times I said I would love to have that in this video. But uh, this is really cool. It's got Sandman on it. 
you don't really see that render on too much merchandise. So yeah, unopened food items are probably my favorite. Uh, he kind of switched a little fast there. These are the Slurpee Cups. I think that's all of them, but they don't have the little, like, cover thing. He's got a bag, like a gym bag. I think I have seen that before. Got the Sorry game, looks like a drawing, a book, CD. Got the Final Battle playset. One of the coolest playsets, definitely. Oh, here we go. Alright, we got this one again. I love this one. Superhero Squad Venom. That's sick. Okay, so, yeah, this guy has a lot of Spider-Man 3 figures. I mean, wow. Oh, I didn't know, okay, I didn't know they made a Venom walkie-talkie. I actually had no idea they made a Venom walkie-talkie. That's, that's probably more rare than the Black Suit Spider-Man, I imagine, because I've, I've never seen that one. Yeah, that one's, that one's dope. Uh, we got the Ooze. Venom, this one's the glow in the dark. Yeah, uh, that's on the pricey side. I've tried to get it before. Uh, I have one Venom figure. Is it this one? I think it's this one. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's the one with the ve uh, web net. See, so, yeah, I actually don't have too many action figures. Um, I think it's I think it's actually the one I have. I think it's this one, but the non-glow-in-the-dark version, I believe. I'm not too big on the action figures. I mean, I like them a lot, but those aren't really, like, my priority when it comes to collecting stuff. Uh, so yeah, th this is an insane collection. This is awesome. It's all dedicated to Spider-Man 3, which is fine. Um, love it. I love, love, love it. I love this statue so much. Everything is badass. The whole collection is badass. So we're going to move on to his video that's a little older. This was like the new look, but we're going to move on to his video that was older, but he went into all of the stuff. So we will switch to that now. All right. So we are on Mr. Cobalt Blue's collection here, and this is the video where he kind of explains everything. So hopefully... There's a little bit different stuff, but we can kind of just go through this here. All right, YouTube. Today, I decided to take some time out to show you guys my entire Spider-Man 3 collection. Let's begin. One of my personal favorites, the Job Trap. Was this in the last video? I don't even remember, but, but, um, yeah, this is a really nice one. Wow, that looks really cool. Was that in the, the short we just saw? I don't even remember. A rare one. Okay, yeah, this was in the last one. For the church scene. Oh god, it just looks so good. The venom looks so nice. The rare walkie-talkies yeah. okay. made in box. Yeah. So, uh, like I, I like I uh, kind of figured this is pretty rare. Um, that might be my favorite walkie-talkie. Like that's, that's really cool. Here's the Walmart exclusive venom. I do. I I uh, I have this one. I actually do have this but the box is a little bit effed up so i've actually thought about giving it away uh because i don't really like when the box is that messed up like the corner is bent and stuff so i might give that away at some point we will see though and my very first Venom figure nice. from when I was four years old. Wow. Symbiote spinning attack Four Venom. years old. He got this at four years old, everybody. There's Superhero Squad. There's a Target ad. Look, $7.99 for action <laughs> if, if they only stayed like that, right? Oh, boy. Figures back then. You can't get any action figures now for that. Or at least not very good ones. Like, if this was around today, they'd probably be, like, 20 bucks. Let's go up the top shelf. Plushy keychain. Mm -hmm. And the death of Eddie oh Brock statue. I can't stress Here's to you two. how much, uh, that, how cool that is. 
statues. Here's the uh, Diamond Select black suit uh -huh. and the Masked Replica's Venom mask. Those are very pricey, I think. Here's the children's book, I Am Venom, along with my opening day Spider-Man 3 movie ticket. Oh, that's so dope. Here's Wannabe Pez if only, If only I kept my movie theater tickets, because I actually don't remember if I... If I saw Spider-Man 3 in the theater, I was actually pretty little. I was pretty little when Spider-Man 3 came out. I still remember, like, getting Spider-Man 3 stuff when I was little, but... I don't think I actually saw the movie in theater, unfortunately. So. Answers by click. I got number... 3,345 out of... 20,000. I have seen that one before. 7-Eleven cups. Those are so awesome. Oh, man. I, I will only... Uh, the, here's the thing, though. I will only get those if they have the cover. That's just me. I like everything to be as complete as possible. So, if I'm gonna buy those, it's gotta have the, the cover. Number 100. 100 of a thousand. Nice number. Here's my Medicom 1-6 scale Venom. Okay, Here's so I don't I don't even know if that's Hot Toys. I know Hot... No, 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 no. It's not Hot Toys. It's not. No, it's not. Is it? I don't know. I get confused with Hot Toys and, like, the other high-end figure because I know Hot Toys did make Venom. I know that Hot Toys made Venom. But I guess it wasn't this one, so... I got. I don't really know anything about Medcom or whatever the name was, but but yeah, all I know is that it's expensive. If you guys watch my channel, you know how infamous these Pringles are. Yeah, and I can also you can also see right here it's got the Spider-Man head on it, which is really nice. Um, you're probably not gonna find this sealed on ebay i i don't think you'll you'll ever find it i mean i could be wrong but it's gonna have to take somebody with a massive collection to have this again so i'll keep my eye out though because i would really like to have that with the chips inside of course here's some of the six inch scale oh my god figure. so awesome i had this when i was little this is one of the uh uh it comes with this one right here this is one of the ones i got when i was uh a kid and again i wish i would have kept it in the box but you know when i was that young i wanted to play with everything so uh, let's go a little bit forward here the ooze is really cool it's got an entire venom set right here which is my need so dope i like what he did with the background like the figure backgrounds Makes. God, I gotta get my hands on that You're one. Trash, Brock. I gotta get my hands on that I have one. Three pup package backgrounds just to give it a background. I like that idea. That's really cool. Here's my custom. That is, um. And here's some standout venom. That's the No Way Home along one. Along with the, for the custom. almost depleted venom ooze. There's a drawing. That's really this cool. This was meant to be a tattoo, but. Hmm. I just decided to have it as like a proof of concept. I mean, concept. I think that'd be kind of because I started sick drawing tattoo. Spider Man's eyes, but then I realized it looks like Venom's mouth. I'm like, hey, there's something smart. I mean, that eye is amazing. Like that, that looks really good with the shading. So again, it's better than anything I could Finally, do. Finally, here's That's my sorry sure. game. Okay, this will hmm. make an appearance in an upcoming video I have in the works. So let's keep that in mind. As you can see. That's my entire Spider-Man 3 collection. Comment down great. below which one you think you wanted the most out of this collection. What would you I want it? the most? Um. Well. That's my opening day ticket. Camera focus. May 4th of 2000. Well, I think. I would honestly probably want the statue the most, just because um, I just love that. That's so unbelievable. I don't think I've seen that before today, so um, 
But if the cereal or the Pringles had the food in it, I would probably want that. Because that's like the main thing I try to collect is unopened food stuff. But yeah, awesome collection. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, great stuff. So that was all the videos we have or that I uh, picked out. There's probably some more out there, but you know, I didn't find, I didn't see them. So there was one, but it was mostly like DVDs. And I was like, eh, that, I wanted to see a little bit more than DVDs. So yeah, once again, all these videos will be linked in the description. I recommend you check them out because I cut some parts of them because I just didn't want the whole video to be running. You know, I, I didn't really want to do that. So yeah, check out the full videos down below if you're more curious. Check out their channels, do whatever you want, subscribe with them, go for it. Um, but yeah, now the question maybe that some of you have will be, will I ever do a video like this? And the answer is yes, I will absolutely do a video like this eventually. I think that that would be a nice, like special video like maybe if we reach a milestone or something like that um but i i have a pretty big collection i think it's not the best i definitely don't have i don't think i have as much as uh this video right here but um i do have a lot of rare things so there are a lot of things worth showing and i don't uh, collect just from one movie. I do go for all three. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you thought of the collections. Tell me what you would want from all the collections. Tell me about your collection, you know, May maybe make a video about it. I'll definitely check it out. Uh, if you just want to tell me what's in your collection, that's fine. But yeah, so with all that being said, Stay tuned for more videos in the future for 2024. I got a lot of things coming, a lot of things in the works, some pretty cool stuff. And you never know, we may just get a look at my collection this year. So, all right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you in the next video. Peace.